slaying the giant of discouragement. When things don't go as planned, prayers seem unanswered, and things happen that we can't explain. We can get disappointed, but God has an answer for us. When we look to Him, even in our disappointment, He heals, He restores, and we can be ready to receive the blessings and promises He already designed for us unhindered. Let these verses minister to you and free you as they slay the giant of discouragement in your life. Deuteronomy 33:27. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before you and will say, Destroy. Joshua 1.9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Psalm 27.14 Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 46.1 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46.2 Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Psalm 46.3 Though its waters roar and be troubled, Though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah, Psalm 61, 2. From the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. 2 Corinthians 4, 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Hebrews 4:16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. As Peter 5, 7 through 8. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Romans 15, 4 through 5. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Jesus. Dear Lord, we pray for each person watching this video. Let your peace rule in every area of their life. Wherever there has been hurt, discouragement, and disappointment, let your word heal. Your promises for us are yes, and so no matter what we see or don't see, no matter what we hear or don't hear, we will say Amen.